It is uh, the 22nd of, of November, just days from Thanksgiving, and I just, I just thought we would put on our radio voices and try to calm you all down a little bit. It's a very stressful time of year, and I have now been told three times that I have a very soothing voice, and Paul has a well-established radio voice and does reads audiobooks, so we're going to try to keep this Stump the Artist with a little bit of stumping, but just a little bit of ASMR in there too. Also, it might help us monetize some more, we don't know. My name is Roxanne. I'm a librarian who's also speaking to you in a soothing voice. Across the internet interwaves is, is fellow artist Paul. Paul, how are you? Hey, Labrador lovers. I'm great. <laughs> okay. How are you? If I can keep up this bit, uh. <laughs> Jill has been unleashed. <laughs> totally. Not that it really needed to be unleashed, as it was just kind of released. Yeah, it just kind of ambled right on out there. Yeah, just. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, this is a very chill night radio. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> trying to still follow the um, intent <laughs> that was set out before, yeah. it, before it got real creepy. <laughs> chill, but not too chill. Not so chill that it seems like I'm trying to sell you something or take your kidney. <laughs> we don't want you. No, you need that. You need those kidneys. <laughs> Alright. Ugh. Also, it's kind of hurting my voice a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, being chill, I... sometimes it just it, it requires more... effort. Honestly, yeah, sometimes being chill is just, you know, it's effortful. It's hard. It's hard being chill sometimes. It's just hard. Who, who knew? Alright. <laughs> Pick elements from multiple lists. Ooh, my listinator was up upgraded. Oh. One element yeah. will be randomly picked from each list you select. Well, yes, thank you. Let's see, how about... We'll do... Genre... Uh, let's see... We'll do an animal... And... I don't know, we'll do a shape. I don't know. Well, I don't like an eel. That's not very chill. We already did oh, stick bug. <laughs> so we got... We're gonna try to have a chill western duck. <laughs> and somehow the, the crescent shape will be involved. <clears throat> okay. So I think... 
you know, just right off the bat, you think of maybe, you know, a, a duck with a cowboy hat. Oh yeah, for sure. Eating a, a eating thing. eating a croissant. <laughs> Oh, okay. Chill, chill e duck. Eating, eating a croissant at night. It could be at night. You know, it just, you know, maybe this is just, uh, a duck at a diner late at night. Just, just going, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm taking a break from honking at things for a bit. And I'm just gonna gonna enjoy this uh, this this croissant. Now I've sketched some shades onto this duck. Now is that too chill? I think. Well. <laughs> uh, and not and not Western enough. Um, I mean, it. I think we will we'll, we'll give it a try. And see if it, it exceeds chillitude. Okay. I guess the chill thing to do would be to give it a shot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it would. It would. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh dear. We can't not be chill. <laughs> the, the chill is all pervasive. All right, so this duck is at a diner, you say? Yeah, so this is this this down here. I'm just sketching in would be the uh, the counter. Reason, I feel like giving this duck a bolo tie. Oh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> That's western as hell. <laughs> and. Just, just, I don't know. A little sweater or something. Wait, just kind of. Got it. Oh, you know what? I guess we can do the. Trust the. Western style. Just, you know, a, ca a cow duck in a saloon. Just, you know, just vibing. Just vibing. Let's see if I can get those kind of, those tipped collars that you'll see on there. Add a little bit of flair, like I've seen on um, some ducks. They'll have that bit of like that bit of feather going on in the back. say Paul it's nice to not be doing all of the drawing <laughs> yeah I have not had to experience that so uh, <laughs> I'll say it's good to be back in the co-pilot's chair yeah <laughs> and not uh, in the back of the bus I, I did consider making you do all the drawing <laughs> but I decided that wasn't very chill <laughs> that's not chill at all <laughs> that's zero percent chill but, I mean, just know that at some point I will subject you to that. I mean, it's, I've, I've earned it. <laughs> I deserve it. Uh, 
Alright. Do I have the do I have the sunglasses? What if? Hmm. Okay, what instead if? instead of sunglasses, so let me I'll I'll help erase. What if I get like seriously bushy eyebrows? So their eyes would be down there. I was thinking like they're so bushy, like you seem like this those grizzled cowboys with the oh, eyebrows okay. that just okay. go right over their eyes. Just... Oh, I see, I see. I get what you mean. He may as well be sleeping. And you know what a grizzled a grizzled cow duck can appreciate? Is a croissant. As is just yeah, a croissant, a nice meal. You know, spend a lot of time on the prairie, or I guess on the pond. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, on Golden Pond. I don't know. I haven't seen that movie. Uh, Nor have I. In fact, I don't even know what that is. Um, on Golden Pond is a late era Catherine Hepburn movie with Henry Fonda, I believe? And it's about, like, they stay in a cabin when they're old and retired, and I think he's trying to write his memoirs or something. Uh, I don't know. It's... I know that it is a movie from the 80s. And it is one of Catherine Hepburn's last roles before she passed away. Paul, have you seen any um, Catherine Hepburn movies? Uh, maybe, <laughs> but I don't know. If I have, I didn't. I, I couldn't tell you. I could. Um, so, maybe. so, so, no. The answer is no. Yeah, maybe not. I mean, if you list a <laughs> bunch of titles, maybe one of them or two of them will jump out at me. Okay. Um. Philadelphia Story. Mm, no. Bringing Up Baby. Mm, no. Um. African Queen. Mm, no. <laughs> uh, Lion in Winter. Mm. Okay. Nope. I'm uh, probably not. Okay. Probably not. I'm uh. Those, uh uncultured uh, swine. <laughs> It's okay. Uh, we'll, we'll 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 work through this somehow. Those are the biggest ones that I can think of off the top of my head. They are good. <laughs> they are good movies. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to do those ones a watch. I would say if you want a starting point. Um, Philadelphia Story or Bringing Up Baby? Yeah, Bringing Up Baby, I feel like I've heard of. Uh... Yeah. Bringing Up Baby and Philadelphia Story are both um, comedies. Um, and. Let's see, uh, Philadelphia Story has. Uh, I'm going to increase this pen size a little bit. Um, Jimmy Stewart, Cary Grant, Katherine Hepburn. Oh, there are more actors in it who I can't think of right now. But it's um, like what full... What though, already. Yeah. Um, and um, bringing a baby is Cary Grant and um, Katherine Hepburn again. Which one is the baby? Neither of them. <gasps> baby is the pet leopard. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that is a... <laughs> that one uh... is called a screwball comedy. <laughs> for reasons you can surmise. Yeah, absolutely. 
I'm not sure if, Phil if Philadelphia Story also qualifies as a screwball colony, but um, it is also very noob. I like a good flick. Yeah, that one um, is about. Uh, Uh, I believe, oh god, it's been a long time since I saw it. Um, it's about a wedding going wrong. I'll put it like that because if I, I, I feel like I'm going to hear people screaming at me about how I'm misremembering the plot, because I do that all the time when I watch YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, none of, none of this is relevant to this. <laughs> yeah, not at all. Grizzled Western duck. You know, we just got sucked into something else. <laughs> Culture. Culture. Yeah. I mean, I guess, you know, I have a talking about some kind of trivia or culture thing quote I have to hit for every episode. <laughs> Paul has to learn something. Yeah. And to bring it back, I think Catherine Hepburn was in um, West some Western TV shows. Unless I'm confusing her with Barbara Stanwyck, in which case I um, retcon that statement. I think I'm confusing her with Barbara Stanwyck. Uh... Oh, yeah. That's loud. Let's, let's make this. Let's make this fringe. As in literally fringed. <laughs> oh, it's still pencil. No wonder it looks so janky. Uh -huh. I was like, why does this look so weird? Listen, it's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> it might be a little rusty. You know what? It's it's a chill, chill pursuit. Yeah. Let's not worry about how I yeah. forgot how to use this program. <laughs> I'm just going with the flow, people. to the topic of movies, this um, grizzled western duck reminds me of Sam Elliott's role in uh, uh, Big Lebowski. Sam Elliott was exactly who I was thinking of. There you go. I mean, he is, he is, you know, perhaps the iconic, like, fake cowboy. Yeah. If we, if we want to draw on that as inspiration even more, maybe this is also a, this is a narrator duck. He's telling us about the big... Oof. The quacks. <laughs> the, the big quacksling, one of the starter Pokemon for Scarlet and Violet. Which yeah! Is <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> You know, I could I could look up. How about I'm gonna put this in pencil. Loonbowski. Loonbowski. Because loon is a is a is a kind of waterfowl. Yes. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> we'll take it. Close enough. You know, it's less of a uh, stoner, celebratory, neo-noir, 
mystery as it is just something that takes the, the chill vibes of the big Lebowski, of the dude. Yeah. But puts it uh, in the pond. Puts it puts it in a pond. I don't know what's going on with this doc's shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't ask me. Now I'm gonna have to look up what a Luna looks like. <laughs> it can't look that unduck like, you know? Yeah, you know. I gotta say, it, it, a little bit looks like he's just flipping the bird, if you will. <laughs> Maybe he is. You don't give a honk. You don't give a, you don't give a, you don't give a honk. gray feathers just to uh, you know follow the Sam Elliott yeah. theme yeah I still don't know what's going on with the shoulder but I guess I don't know <laughs> only in my heart I will continue to worry about it forever never ending yes no one else need know Western, so it's not going to be the same as, as the Big Lebowski. Yeah. It's like if the Big Lebowski happened in the West and also a pond where there aren't typically ponds in the West. Yeah. In this particular part of the West, you know, it's like you know an oasis or something. Yes. And not the band. They would also not be in the Old West. <laughs> they also would not be in the Old West. I could very easily see them fighting in a Solomon Helper. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a quack sound. Quite. <laughs> yes, verily. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is being cut off. It sure is. Well. Thank you, OP20XDX, for all of the, the cats wearing sunglasses. The cool cats, if you will. Cool. They're too cool. Cool. That's why they just got their GED. Too cool for school. <laughs> Ooh, GEDs are cool. 
Okay. All right. Here, here is the narrator of the Big Loon Bowser. <laughs> <laughs> Trying real hard to come up with Sam Elliott pun. Don't worry about it. I think he's coming just... up empty. <laughs> yeah, you know, can't all be winners. Mm -mm. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's the duck himself. Yes. The dude. The dude. The dude. Loon. The loon. The, the, the loon himself. <laughs> I'm suddenly starving. So this is going to be a little fun for me. I'm just going to keep getting distracted by how hungry I am. start by looking up what a loon looks like. Not that it matters, but it matters to me. Yes. Listen, accuracy is important in media. You don't want to culturally misappropriate uh, okay. a waterfowl. <laughs> of course not, no. Okay. Get, can I get the loon at a different angle? So it's, okay, yeah, that works. Okay. So let me let me loon this up. And then uh uh you know you can make the the I don't know one of the nihilists be like a Canada goose or something, even though they were German. I don't know. <laughs> It's been a while since I've seen, seen the Big Lebowski. This is looking very phallic, and I'm not a fan. <laughs> Let me just retcon and get rid of that for a minute. Or, you know, just make any, any kind of... Any kind of waterfowl will be the enemy, because this is also, you know, a western. That's, that's true. There probably are a lot of Germans <laughs> in the west. This might, this might take a while, Paul. <laughs> Yeah, we're we're working with celebrity likenesses. Yeah. <laughs> and waterfowl that we we don't know what they look like. Yeah. And we, you know, attempting to have some modicum of accuracy in the name yeah. of a joke. <laughs> it's just the kind of maniac I am. that I haven't drawn me a minute or so. I have a cat on it, so there's this some maneuvering that. happening, and <laughs> there you go. I thought I was going to be stealthy about it, but yeah. Nope. Okay, 
This one is allowed to have sunglasses. Yeah. Since we can't, I mean, we could we could still give it Jeff Bridges' flowing locks. Flowing locks, yeah. Yeah, you know, I could just be wearing a wig. All right, what if I just straight up try and draw John Goodman Pelican? idea. <laughs> that's, that's chat. This is just a turn and this is just a very, in, in per, pursuit of it being chill, it has become a bizarre AU fanfiction uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> of a movie I haven't seen in like eight years. Yeah, yeah in quite a long time. See what Lebowski's uh, or the dude's sunglasses looks like. So they were more, more, more like this, and Just because, well, and, you know, we'll also just have a weird little fake goatee on. <laughs> we're, you know, we're just going. Yeah, for it at this no, point. you got to. the sunglasses nearly as often as I thought he did. No. But, I mean, it's in all, like, the promotional work, so that's fine. I'll leave it. <laughs> it's it's still too funny of an image. <laughs> yeah. Plus, it's chill. It's chill. Wow, I can... <laughs> knowing what you were attempting to do, it's already amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I already love it. <laughs> um... John Goodman, and I'm a pellet. <laughs> I had to look, bring up my loon reference back. <laughs> <laughs> Again, not that it particularly matters, but it's just, I think it's funnier when it's more accurate. <laughs> yes. You have a picture of a loon pulled up, I have a picture of John Goodman pulled up. <laughs> to be fair, it's much easier to um, do like a shorthand of a pelican. Yeah, I mean, they have a very distinct uh, feature that we all know and yeah. love. Quite. I'm like a loon, which you're just used to hearing. It's like, Ew, that guy's a real loon. It's like, what? <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? They're, they're, they're very buoyant. <laughs> This is also reminding me a little bit of a regular show at this point. Yeah. <laughs> we, yeah. Here's your vibe. Oh, 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 there we go. Okay. Oop, that is the wrong size. So, like, we don't even need to come up with the plot of this. And we'll just say, it's like the big Lebowski, but it's a western. 
And they're all ducks. Yeah. <laughs> and they're all Use water. Use your imagination, They're, folks. they're all water-related animals. <laughs> You know, they're just around the like the only aquifer. Yeah. In all of the West. Did they have sunglasses back then? I don't know. Do I care? Also, no. Nope. <laughs> they do here, folks. These are also anthropomorphic <laughs> animals that are drinking and. Swearing and what? <laughs> yes. Telling about toes and bowling. And just wanting carpets back, comma, man. Yeah. And finding people in the Alps. You know what I'm saying? sunglasses into wayfarers because that's just <laughs> that's just my shorthand it's just like oh yeah you know sunglasses you know like wayfarers oh, that's right they come in different types oh. it's just your it's, just your, it's, it's your brand it's your brand preference it's true it, 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 they, that is the brand I actually wear that are just like knockoffs of them yeah knockoffs are fine we can all make a million What have we done? What have we done? What sins have we committed on this day? <laughs> the dude forgive us. <laughs> I think, I mean, the dude abides, so I think we're The cool. dude abides, you're right, you're absolutely <laughs> right. got a little bit of like a Chinatown in it you know they're the water's starting to dry up and they just want like their you know their water back come a man mm -hmm. come on man we just want our water back yeah and yeah, 
and uh because you know it really they the water really ties the place together and that it is the mechanism which allows them to live <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying it so much. Alright. I gotta start colorating this loon. So I believe. I like the dude who is mostly tan. The loon is mostly black and white. Pelicans generally aren't from the West. We know that. Yes, yeah, we're not. Loons, though. Where are loons commonly from? Um, the common loon is in the Americas. Actually, I can look it up um, on the Audubon app. So I will use this to identify birds. Loon. Okay, I'm looking at the common loon. Which apparently yodels. Yodels? That's <laughs> awesome. Um, mostly in, in Canada. <laughs> okay. That is what a loon yodeling sounds like. They also wail and hoot. <laughs> and it says tremolo calling, which I don't know what that means. <laughs> I know I say this a lot, but I want this to be real. <laughs> I want to see this piece of media. It is, it is a very strange piece of media. Yes. But, <laughs> I mean, I feel like it would be good to watch when you're, like, bedridden. Yes. <laughs> or you're like, I don't... I don't know what this what am is. I watching? But am I, I hallucinating? I think I love it. I don't know.
entirely accurate on where I'm putting it, but you know, just adding some more signifiers that this is a yeah, specific this is kind very of very clearly a loon. Yes, extremely, extremely loon. Very well. I. <laughs> I'm just hearing in my head, um, I don't know what the name of the alien is, you know, the one episode of, um, Adventure Brothers where there's that giant alien that keeps yelling, ignore me. <laughs> I just keep hearing it say, THAT WAS A WEIRD ONE! <laughs> THAT WAS A WEIRD ONE! <laughs> and it was. <laughs> and it is. <laughs> yes, it very much We've is. done a thing today, <laughs> we, we sure have done a thing. Is it chill? We hope so. <laughs> we sure hope so. Yeah, the, like the this 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 movie adaptation is it's definitely strange, but it is uh much much you know it's it's not quite. Because I, I wouldn't say that Big Lebowski is stressful to watch. No, no, they they go they go through some arduous yeah. situations, but much like the dude himself, it's very chill. Yeah. Uh, in terms of its uh, trubs. Yeah, I mean, I, w I would certainly say that you know this, um, you know, Moses. It has a mosey. It moseys, yes. You know, it's not not in a rush to 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 do anything. Right. All right. So I think I don't know. How can we make this look? I guess we'll put some cacti in the background. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Why not? Let's do that. <laughs> so. Okay, so. Of course, uh, you know, put, put your little yeah. saguaro cactus out there. Ah, excellent. Bringing it back now, y'all. Yep. Kept a little bit too much like it could have been a football or something. <laughs> I like that we're just like saying, just the title's just, it's this. <laughs> this, is, this is what it is. You know what? It's the most chill option. We're just going to tell you what it is. <laughs> so... Tell, don't show. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like what they say in art and writing and all other mm -hmm. things. <laughs> tell, don't show. Tell, do not show. No. Don't trust them to, to get it. You can't do that. Absolutely not. Let's see if we can maybe get a little, just a little Echeveria back here. I'm like trying to think of all the succulents I own. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just do some background painting real quick. That's some sand. I 
I guess I could just do this and erase. <laughs> Since I put it on a separate layer. A little stretch. Still pinning you down. Huh? Oh no, I, I was gonna call her the cac the cacti. <laughs> but I, uh, because of where our, our layers are. Yeah, I, was, I, was, I, I realized I, that I while you were like, ew! On. And so I came to your rescue because I'm a nice person. Price at, uh. Why does this exist? Because <laughs> we wanted a chill stream. And we so just wanted a chill stream. We ended up with here the, the Ballad of the Big Lewandowski. Here we are, folks. <laughs> Shut up, Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> that made me laugh more than it should have. <laughs> 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 All right. We'll take a picture for posterity. Yay! Um, <laughs> I will say, um, I hope that you channel the the the, the vibes of the loon. The loon abides. Um, loon abides, folks. Th this Thanksgiving, you know, don't don't feel bad <laughs> about eating. I don't know poultry because the loon abides. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like that a lot. So, uh, <laughs> man, this went a lot faster with someone else <laughs> doing the art again. Uh, it's almost Ooh. like the uh, normal Ooh. setup works Ooh. better. Ooh. 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 Oops. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, well, uh, everybody, you have good holiday or day or whatever you're doing and whenever you're watching this uh, and uh, you know what I by being chill I don't think we got stumped I think we were pretty okay I would agree with that I we need it maybe we need to abide like the loon more often <laughs> it's a lesson to learn both I've got the trash wrinkles. Alright. Um, you have a, a good whatever, and we will see you next time on Stumpy Keep it chill.